Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So, before we start off with this strategy and build guide, I'm gonna give a shout out to KZ Lee for pointing out the correct pronunciation of Chow Chow, not Cow Cow. So, Chow Chow um, is his pronunciation. Um, Zoom Liang as well. Um, the pronunciation is Zhu Ki Liang. So those are the right ways to pronounce their names, guys. So for those who have not yet learned the correct pronunciation, so uh, Zoom Liang is Zuki Liang and Kao Kao is Chao Chao. Okay, so thank you guys. Um, I know I have seen a lot of um, comments on the pronunciation. I forgot actually um, your names, but thank you guys for keeping me, you know, keeping me informed of things and let us proceed to the strategy build guide of chow chow okay so let's start off with his skills this is going to be a, a very interesting figure so attacks an enemy starts from the first enemy in the same line attack speed is intermediate so it's called ink strike the detail of the figure is actually pretty interesting so a lot of minions there for poison so upgrade effect of this uh, basic attack is going to be attack deals attack deals additional damage to poisoned units and uh, level three boosts the damage from basic attacks by 25 percent so those are your um, additions for basic attack let's move on to your ultimate big dipper fatality attacks the target and the enemies next to it uh, and inflicting poison for five seconds clearly they haven't stated really how big the poison is so let's just leave it at that the poison damage i mean energy regeneration is going to be six per second upgrade effect is level two increase damage by 38 percent reduce hit of enemies uh healing effects uh received uh and life steal by 10 percent for five seconds so reduces hit Reduces healing effects as well. So again, poison, healing effects, uh, reduce healing effects. So the, the, those are just two debuffs that he has. Level 3 is the duration of the poison and healing reduction effects are increased by 3 seconds. So again, it's going to be 8 seconds each time the target unleashes an ultimate. The duration of the poison effect increases by additional 3 seconds as well. So again... <laughs> um. I'm not sure if this guy is going to be OP, but definitely he has creepy skills. So poison deals damage to an enemy per second and for each additional debuff to the target boosts poison damage by 20%. So definitely if there are other debuffs, if you have other figures that have debuffs or give debuffs, definitely this will help them and will help each other. So for his passive sworn enemy, the target for the basic attack will take heavy poison damage over time i'm not sure how big is the heavy poison damage but it's definitely heavy At <laughs> allies have a 20 percent chance to deal 100 percent splash damage to nearby enemies when attacking a target under heavy poison so there is a chance although it's less it's only 20 percent but at least they it's there heavy poison effect cannot be removed by purification so take note of that level two is increased heavy uh, poison damage by 60% when um, uh, when inflicting heavy poison on the target for the first time in battle also stuns the target for 4 seconds. So you have stun, you have poison, you have healing reduction. So again, this guy is going to be a headache uh, in a lot of content. So level 3, when the target dies while under heavy poison... Uh, effect Chao Chao will def definitely deal damage to all nearby enemies and inflict poison for three seconds. So again, a lot po a lot of poison going around. So a special PS: there are no other enemies around the target under heavy po under heavy poison effect. Chao Chao will deal 50% increased damage to the target. Okay, so last is going to be special skill King of Way boost the damage of the basic attack by 12%. And level 2 boost attack by 5% and attack speed by 10. Boost the damage dealt from basic attacks by 18%. So those are his skills, guys. So um, off we go to um, strengths and weaknesses. So definitely his defense would be his strength. 
um, attack is not bad as well but definitely his weakness is going to be his health so you have to more or less um, protect him or give him some heals probably if he's um, vulnerable by AOE so again there you go so you can actually because his parts later will not be augmenting his health so you have to keep him alive by keeping by healing him from time to time and also uh, position him in a spot wherein he's protected most of the time okay going to his parts or his gear so this is how how i geared him for now so i'm experimenting with this one so my current gear is um quick attack set uh, i want him to deal a lot of poison with his current um, target then i also have here basic attack power plus 18 percent so another alternative is swap out your quick attack for attack set or swap out your basic skill set for crit set so those are your other choices i'm going with this one i'd like to experiment first on this one if this is more suitable for him for his parts moving on to the badge so in terms of badge um this is the one that i'm mostly uh, recommending so eternal nightmare badge boost attack speed by 10 percent Basic attacks have a 21% chance to bounce lightning off four times, each time dealing uh, dealing damage equal to 80% attack. And um, the ones that I think will um, help you as well, if you don't have the Eternal Nightmare badge, would be End Time Divinity badge. So basic attacks have 30% chance to deal extra damage equal to 80% 80, 80 attack. So but eternal dam eternal nightmare is what i'm recommending if you have an extra you know a badge there for him choose eternal nightmare badge so this will be your end game badge for chow chow okay so moving on to team composition so definitely chow chow will excel in a debuff team so he is going to be a nightmare if he has a lot of teammates with additional debuffs it, it, it's going to be compounding um, because one of his skills um, adds damage when a target is already has a debuff. Pair him with Aihinohara, which will actually, you know, we're actually waiting for her still, but definitely she'll be dropping. So if you pair her with Aihinohara, um, it's going to be a nightmare. But again, they are um, of Night 9 or probably Snow 8, Snow, I uh, forgot. <laughs> snow uh what they call this no a not snow eight snow a figures then it's really it's really gonna be hard to bring them up in terms of tier in terms of their stars but definitely i would be a good um you know pairing for him any team could really benefit for him he's one i think he's one of one of the best specialists that we have for now in our game so if you have a chance to get copies of him please do level him up um, secondary damage dealer is his actual his actual function while you have your monster damage dealers in front then again um, perfect as a debuffer and um, in a debuff team with poison heal reduction and just a little bit of stun for him so those are my recommendations for his team composition for content let's go out of here and um Definitely, I would consider him for final battle for Code V because of the mobs that you have to take out. Also, Azazel, um, I would consider him for PvP. I'm also considering him because of uh, Poison. Um, there's a big chance that he could wreak havoc in Poison. Then also, mostly all of the mob stages here like Board Game Odyssey, you could actually bring him here as well then also nightmare so if you guys um bring him in nightmare he could be good and also in the campaign by the way so if you need ad buffer um if um he actually would be good if you have a good front line that could defend him while he puts out a lot of poison and also damage he would be good a good a good uh, again a, another just to add to the team composition um, another one could be two defenders 
um, then him, then you have a healer, then you have another DPSer together with uh, Chow Chow. So um, I think that is a good lineup that I think I'll see in the future with him in that team. So after content, my final thoughts for Chow Chow is this gives us really another unique figure to, you know, to experiment on another win condition or another most most specialists usually have um less damage or don't have a bigger damage i think only only um Zanta Kane has a big damage for a specialist and now we have chow chow to at least you know um be in that category of a specialist but with heavy damage his is more on debuff so i think it would take a while to build to his potential um, damage but again if you leave him alone in a matchup he will definitely make you pay in the end so that is my assessment uh, of his build his strategy hope you guys um got something from this guide and if you have comments and suggestions just uh, put them down in the comment section below and also guys while you're here, please do subscribe to my channel because, again, this really helps me a lot. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.